pronounced Och Gillette. Nice to meet you, how are you? Great way to speed us up. <laughs> I love this city. <laughs> it's 25 degrees, and this breeze is gorgeous. Botia. Ah, done. Worth it. I lost my finger, but worth it. Hi everybody, it's Friday the 26th of June here in Tallinn, Estonia. The sun is shining. It is another glorious day and we're just walking into the centre of the old town um, because we were contacted by a reporter. Um, she works for the national Estonian newspaper. I think the name is pronounced Ochtulet. I really don't know if I've got that sure correct, either. but I'm going to ask her and find out now. Yeah. Um, so we're going in to the Town Hall Square to meet her and to talk about our experiences of being in Estonia during lockdown. Should be good. She wanted to meet us and find out what it was like, so here we go. <laughs> she stood by the Town Hall Square. Hi, Catherine. Great. Nice Thank to meet you. you. How are you doing? You nice well? Nice to meet you. We found a lot of things kind to of. keep us busy, as you oh. find out. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're like, oh, we've got lots of time. And then we're like, we just say yes to everything. And then we're like, wow. <laughs> <laughs> yes, there's a lot of discover, yeah. actually. There is, yeah. yeah. I'm so sure even, even I have discovered. Chocolate. Oh, hello. Hello. Tina. Hello. Hi. Hi. Nice hello. to meet you, Tina. I don't know. Tina. <laughs> We didn't know how long that's going to be. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think anyone did. I think in our minds we were probably thinking two, three, four, five weeks maybe. Um, but then it turned out to more. And then we've slowly watched it all come back to life and we've just fallen in love with it. Oh, we've lost oh, nice. Tina. <laughs> oh, oh, she's there. <laughs> yeah. this, this is more what coffee shop we went to in the shop. I'm happy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This yeah. Is the, it was literally they were like, something's open. <laughs> It's a week of firsts. Yeah. My first ever acting. And then our first ever interview for a newspaper. <laughs> is this going to be like an article in the paper? Is it a digital one? How do you... Both, I think. Okay. Yeah. That was really fun. It was so fun. <laughs> we just met with Katrin, who's well, basically our new Estonian friend now, I think. <laughs> <laughs> She's a reporter for the newspaper. And she was really excited to hear about our story and what we're doing and what plans are. And she said she was gonna... lovely. It's so nice to meet her. Yeah, she's really excited. And her colleague, her partner is from England as well, so she she felt quite happy to see us and meet us. Yeah, we found out her <laughs> partner's also English yeah. and lives in the same county as us. The newspaper article it's going to be in the newspaper Urchulet. Yeah, Urchulet. It's going to be a digital version and a paper version. So we'll have a look out for it. Now we are going to make the most of the rest of the afternoon. It's Friday and we're going to head to the beach. It's cooking. <laughs> really hot day. So we're going to head back, get some lunch, cool off a bit and, and then to head streaming. to the beach. Let's go. Yeah. Let's get in the shade. It is a wet and rainy Wednesday the 8th of July here in Tallinn, Estonia. We have ventured out from our editing but we were nice and dry and warm for one reason. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we didn't really want to leave the nice warm dry flat, but we have. But yeah, it's a super exciting day because um, after a couple of weeks ago being contacted on our website and going for an interview, we have found out that we are in the Estonian national newspaper. Ochtelet. Ochtelet, yeah. <laughs> so yesterday the electronic version of the article was published and we've been informed that today it's in the physical hard copy and actual newspaper. So we're heading off to the shops to go and buy ourselves a newspaper <laughs> that it's we exciting. are apparently in. Yeah. <laughs> Not that we're going to understand it because I imagine it's going to be in Estonian but 
we'll yeah. figure it out. <laughs> yeah, we'll have to do some serious Google translating tonight, I think. So, but yeah. yeah, exciting. Let's okay. go and let's go and see it. Okay, it's the first time we're going to have seen it, so yeah, excited. <laughs> we're at the Balti Arm train station, and there's an R kiosk here, which we checked in there yesterday, and it had copies of a Gillette. So hopefully they've got some in there now. Yeah, I think they were. On the front cover, and guess what? Oh else? my god, it's actually on the front cover. Guess what else? It's the last one left. <laughs> oh my word. Let's fold it and buy it. It's meant to be the last one left. This is really bad. Come on, let's see it. Let's go over here. The last copy. The last copy, and we're actually on the front page. I can't believe it. We had no idea we would be on the front page. I don't know how I feel about going and buying it, you buy it. It's unbelievable. <laughs> that's, that's you. Okay, let's be discreet. <laughs> can we not, let's read the article. No, can I, on, I like, can't read it. Oh, why can't you read it? Oh, here we are. Oh, is that us? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so we're actually, the main headline on the front page of the Estonian national newspaper. And then you go to the middle pages and then the middle of the paper. with a massive report in the middle. <laughs> that picture of me is awful. Unbelievable. <laughs> that was our first day in Tallinn. Oh dear. Yeah. Check out our new Lives in Tallinn video. That's a screenshot from that video. The day we arrived in Tallinn. Oh, I like how they spell on it, how on it, Kestil, Litya, Kregel. Right. That's, that's amazing. Okay. Are you shocked? Yeah, I'm really shocked. And that's just Did you know we were going to be on the front page? No. <laughs> that's unreal. Amazing. We're going to go and buy it now. We've just got home after picking up the uh, our copy of Urchulet <laughs> and us being astonished by the fact we're on the front page. It's unbelievable. Look at this. And Amazing. Then, and then right in the middle. Wow. <laughs> in the middle, that's us. This was the picture we had taken on the day we went to meet with Urchulette. I had no idea what we were doing is this interesting. <laughs> we're in shock. <laughs> Just us two doing nothing and riding out this crazy storm of coronavirus pandemic. <laughs> of craziness. Yeah. I have, um, so I've translated it and picked out a few um, interesting bit. So uh, I've used Google Translate, so I'm not sure if it's a completely perfect translation. So um, that's pretty fun. But the headline, for example, says Estonia is a crown to be trapped, the best place. I'm so sure that's not quite. I mean, it's, it's basically going to translate to something like we're happy we we got trapped here it's in Estonia. It's a be. great place to be during. Yeah. A pandemic and if you're going to get trapped somewhere then Estonia is uh, very one. good because throughout what we said during the the interview that's that's essentially the the gist of it um, the British couple arrived in Estonia just when the borders closed Estonia is a coronation trap which is quite funny again I don't think that's quite Perhaps something about corona and uh, I don't know yeah yeah as in a know. good place to be trapped during coronavirus um, the British world travelling couple arrived in Estonia just at the time when the borders borders were closed. That is and then it, it goes on through, basically through our, our entire story. Yeah. Um, essentially. So, and there's a couple of... It's basically just about how we came to be here in the first place. We were travelling, how we came to be here and our decision to stay here. And then our comparisons back to uh, England uh, versus Estonia. And yeah, they've done a great job of... Um, putting our, our thoughts across and saying about how we just thought whilst we're here, why not carry on vlogging? And hopefully that will help out the tourism side of things when things do open up again, because we can show everyone how nice um, Tallinn is. It's mentioned here as well. Um, we had pictures in front of a, a coffee shop um, that we actually visited on our first day in Tallinn. Yeah, because it's the only that, place that was open. We, yeah, it's the only <laughs> place that was open. So that's the place that we went. Uh, that was one of our, our it's basically our first 
coffee stop when we arrived in Tallinn. Yeah. So that's where we had our so she's, she our she photos wants to take done. A outside of it. Yeah, there's a caption here which is quite nice. Uh, we have already thought that if we were trapped somewhere for a long time, it would be best to do so. Estonia is the place, say Kirsty and Craig, spouses of world travellers <laughs> who have been trapped in the coronation oh, in Estonia Translate. for more than three months. The cafe in the picture behind them was the only one that was open when they arrived in Tallinn yeah, during the corona said. crisis. Here it was thought what, what to, to do, do next. next. That's so that is all really we true, yeah. yeah. Basically we were like, oh, let's just have a coffee and figure out what the hell just happened to our lives. Yeah. <laughs> what just happened? What just went down? And, and then was... we're having a cup of tea thinking, how the hell did this end up being a story? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> how did this end up being headline news in yeah. the biggest newspaper in Estonia? Mm -hmm. But there was, there, was also, there was also a funny bit about mushrooms um, yeah. which I'm there, there trying to find right there why it would not be better to stay in Estonia for mushrooms when the world is open again yeah I'll, I'll read <laughs> the, the whole paragraph because mushrooms. it gives you context we have already made friends here and adapted to life here if we were going to Finland as planned now it is not known if we could continue from there then we should stay there adjust again and we don't know what lies ahead we wondered why it would not be better to stay in Estonia for mushrooms <laughs> when the world is open again. I mean, Estonia sure is no, known for its fantastic mushrooms, so I don't think that is a typo. So I think maybe. No, no, I, I, I think, think they that, do. I they do Google's like to refer there, to, there mushrooms. to mushrooms. Um, what get? Um, it is safe here, and we feel that the state takes good care of its people, yeah. which we we have found. While in Estonia. They also plan to discover Sarama, Tartu, okay. and Panu themselves. So yeah, we do plan to to go it's on and travel around <laughs> and see the rest of Estonia as well. But for now, this is amazing. We're gonna send it to our family and yeah, friends, thank and you. Thanks yeah, for letting us be a part of this. And yeah, we had no idea we were we were that interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Stop putting us down. <laughs> but yeah, amazing. So yeah, we will we'll post. Um, We'll post pictures of the newspaper and on Instagram and things. And yeah, amazing. We can't believe it. Headline news. Yeah, and we are going to travel again. We are. <laughs> yeah. We can't wait to travel around this country. And eventually we'll make our way over to Finland as planned originally. Mm. <laughs> Who knows when? We still don't know when. <laughs> Join us next time when we explore some of the natural beauty around Tallinn and head out to Palisare Peninsula. I didn't hit my hand on the lamp post then. Hazardous. Steering column straight into my stomach. <laughs> and my hand. Look out for it, keep your eyes out, keep and your eyes peeled. And now we are going to make the rest, the, 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 now we are going to make the most